And you see, this is good. I'm used to hearing about the welfare line. This is good to see people want alkaline food like this. This is great. Oh, I got some powerful stuff to show y'all. Because you know they just passed a law, S-51, from the Senate saying that it's illegal to grow your own food. I got it in the book. They said it. I got it in the book. It's illegal to grow your own food. So with the imposed vaccinations that have microchips, and the food that has microchips, you say, I'm going to get away from this. I'm going to start growing my own food. Just two weeks ago, I was bragging about teaching people how to grow food in the hood and showing them how to grow kale and showing them how to grow okra. Now I got to keep that shit on the low. I'm like, damn, wow. The more I submerge myself in consciousness, the more I feel like a drug dealer again. They find out I'll be moving over on the lowest shit in the hood. <laughs> I mean, I've been bags of folio saying I got that weight. Got niggas on the block selling black kennel and shit. This is crazy, right? This is crazy. And it's only funny because it's true. Because that's the meaning where people are true. So don't be afraid to smile and laugh. So if it wasn't real, this is just a mechanism of the body saying, I'm just trying to loosen the tension. But yeah, health food, health food. I had a clip here, I can't show it, but I, I got the link here too, where they ransacked the health food store. I got the link in the book. Guns and everything in California, Los Angeles. They ran in the health food store because they heard that these people was growing their own food and selling that food in their store. They were certified, licensed, everything. But once that bill passed, here we are two weeks later. They're already making examples out of us. I'm gonna leave Obama alone. He's still a new man. All spells are blame the white man. We always on our case. Every Illuminati DVD got a brother on it. Me and them put that effort on Bush. Put our Illuminati DVD with Bush on the cover or something. Dick Cheney or something. Leave Obama alone, even if he's messing around. Leave him alone. It's bigger than him. I always tell people about chess. You can look at the pawn, the bishop, the rook. Doesn't matter. The same hand moves them all. Baby, go through it. Um, let me see what I'm trying to go to. Got to wrap it. What's this? What's this? Oh, Gwen Towers. Keep going, babe. OK, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, man, keep going. I have so much stuff to go. Let's get into the next section real quick. Let's see. Um, let's get to 100 to 107. Don't worry, you get the DVD. I'll put the plugins from the book. OK, keep going. Go through. Let's go. Let's do it, babe. Keep going down. Oh, yeah. Let me go over a few of these things. I'll go over real fast. You got these, these metals that they're putting into our body. These are choice metals. They're called micro antennas. Aluminum is a micro antenna. Mercury is a micro antenna. Cadmium is a micro antenna. Barium is a micro antenna. Barium is in your chemtrails. It's not there to give you cancer. Barium gives you symptoms reminiscent to that of the flu, but you ain't got it. Barium, gives, barium makes you look like you have the flu. So you can get the flu shot that's high in mercury, which is a micro antenna. Let's go. You got, you got symptoms. Let's go into the symptoms. This is in the book. You'll read it and you'll see it on the DVD. I'll make sure I put it on the DVD. Some of mercury symptoms. When a person has mercury toxicity, mercury is a micro antenna, they get paranoid. They feel like someone's talking about them all the time. They get insecure. These are mercury symptoms. When you have too much mercury in the body. How many of you eat your food or drink and feel like it tastes like metal sometimes. That means you have uh, arsenic toxicity or mercury toxicity. How many of you eyelids just jump for no apparent reason sometimes? Sometimes your eyelids just jump. That's because the barrier that they're spraying in the chemtrails, I have the research here to back it up. The barrier changes your breath when you inhale it too much. But what is a micro antenna? The purpose for a micro antenna is to transmit messages to you without anyone else hearing it. That's the purpose of micro antennas like aluminum, 
like mercury, like cadmium. That's the purpose for micro antennas. That's the purpose. All other side effects are just that, side effects. The purpose for micro antennas is to cause, is to allow these messages to be transmitted through you without anyone knowing, including you. So they make you eat bad food. Why? See, I eat alkaline food, right? Alkaline rotis. I eat that kind of food, fried mushrooms. Why? Because you won't perspire like you used to. I don't use the omen. And if I should, I use the one that I created, which I got over there, for, in the name of the satellite terrorism, because it has no micro antennas in it. They make you eat bad food. Why? Because after you eat the bad food, you perspire, you want deodorant, and your deodorant has aluminum in it. And aluminum is a micro antenna. So they can transmit messages through you once you got enough of that micro antenna into your bloodstream. They play chess. It's not the first move you see. It's the second and the third. They're playing ahead, so we're going to make them eat bad. Then when they eat bad, they're going to perspire. Then when they perspire, they're going to put on deodorant. When they put on the deodorant, then the micro antenna, aluminum in the deodorant is going to go in there. This is why sometimes you get a little lump under your arm because your body's trying to push it away. Sometimes you see little new beauty marks. You don't get a new, you born with your beauty marks. How all of a sudden, I mean, you don't just get no more pretty as you get older sometimes. Stop it. These new marks or new beauty marks that you're seeing are the antennas that your body is trying to push it or discharge it from the bloodstream. Sometimes it comes right up on the surface of your fingers. Those are antennas and your body be trying to push it off. Baby, let me get the um, diagram of the eyes. So I'm just trying to give you as much content as possible. I have a lot. I had a whole lot. I wish forces wasn't working. Oh, let's do this. 50 Cent's album, Part Human, Part Machine. They're trying to introduce this. this. It's called social engineering. They're trying to make us become more complacent with the reality of integrating machine or technology with our DNA. Go ahead, next album. Christina Aguilera. Cyborg as well. Go ahead, baby. Look at this one, Erica Badu. This don't mean that I'm saying these people are bad. They might be getting used or controlled by the frequencies as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you, two more. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Eric Badu. Hey, look at Drake in a Sprite commercial. Look at Common. This is all within the last year. I'm not saying these people are bad. I say these people are getting used. And some of them are bad and being used. Go ahead. Look at this one. Pornography with robots. Look at this one going in. Rihanna, you know, butt touch and other suggestions by these robots, if you watched it, I have it on the DVD. Why are we giving sexual gestures to robots? Robots. Now, I bet you when brother hollered at her down the block, she turn them down and treat them back. You just be trying to tell her she got a hole in her pants. You know how it is, right, brothers? Yeah, y'all also won't call her a bitch, but she don't listen to. Go ahead. Hey, look at this one. This is from a movie called Metropolis in 1927. Peep the star in the background. Whatever you want to think about, it's good or bad. Go to the next one. You know, everybody got something to say. Now look at Beyonce. Why are they integrating us with machines? What is the purpose? So you'd be more accepting of taking on nanotechnology and incorporating it as part of your genome. Go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. All these different people meshing the um, robotics with DNA. Go ahead, baby. Frequencies, keep going, baby. Got to go past that. Got to go past that. Mercury stuff. Boom. Go back up. Go back up. This is a person who took a vaccine and had too much mercury in it. Mercury affects the central nervous system. Go up, baby. Symptoms of high explosives. To inorganic mercury includes skin rashes and der dermatitis, mood swings, memory loss, mental disturbances, and muscle weakness. Sometimes brothers be in their house, and I gotta get on the brothers. Sometimes brothers be in the house, pardon me, I gotta get on sisters. Sometimes brothers be in the house and say, why my woman just be waking out like that? One minute she just happy, the next minute she just upset, then she happy again. She happy, walk in the room, take a shower, come out, she, she upset, she pissed off. Why the mood swings? Too much mercury. Whenever you see erratic behavior, it's because of a malfunction. 
some form of disorientation because in our pristine state, we are the most loving and beautiful people in the world. Proof of that is, we'll say kill the white man and his babies, but if one of them fell down, we'll pick them up. Because if this was the case in these black organizations, one of us would been locked up by now. We love white people. We the first ones, don't say that. After all the slavery. So don't tell me we are not the most loving people. We would rather take it out on each other before we bring it to somebody else's front door. Only a loving people who are in a state of ignorance would do that. <laughs> Right? So, disturbances, muscle weakness, affects central nervous system, causing symptoms of irritability, anxiety, nervousness, difficulty in breathing, restlessness, exaggerated response to stimulation. <laughs> Don't know what to do with yourself. Got the jitters. They say, we got to drug your child up, acting like this. But you just gave my child the mercury induction to behave like that. Look at her with her eye all slowed down. But she was given a detox to get the metals out of her body. Go ahead, and I got the detox over here. Satellite terrorism detox, the ST detox. It'll flush the micro antennas out of your body. Of course, we're gonna have to keep this on the law after this, because they just be passing bills left and right to stop everything we're doing. So you got Freya in 2002 after safe Amalgam, removal and detoxification. She is now directing the development of consumers for dental choice. Look at her eyes, all balanced out and everything again. But she had a droopy eye that's long. She be seeing niggas in the hood just looking all messed up and face scrunched out. <laughs> They didn't make their face like that. That's the metals. That's the toxicity making their face look like that. You going out there, we be looking stressed out and angry. People be scared of us for the right reasons. I be in my neighborhood saying, I understand why people are scared of us. We be just looking upset. So go to the, um, leave the book alone. Let me get these two diagrams in. Close, close the book. I just want to, my wife deals with biology. She'll be doing readings today. There's one, and then open up the other one. This, this would be my last note. Yeah, open up that one. Let's review this one. Let's scrutinize this. Basically, when you get our ST tonic, we'll also educate you. And like I said, every lecture I do, I always have people in the building that either cure the menopause, uh, cancer, Lorena Woody, she's over there helping out with the food. Jessica Casey was over there. I, she was selling the books. Um, she had sickle cell anemia. But then I was over there. She was dealing with paralysis. She took my um, CHO detox. So I ain't the one that's going to tell you, yo, I be curing people, I be healing people, and you can't find them. No, they're in the building. People who got cured of menopause, people who got cured of paralysis, people who got cured of sickle cell anemia, people, where she's right there behind, um, people who got cured of cervical cancer, my baby's mother. She had cervical cancer, was crying, came in the house because they told her that her lease on life expired. She's being evicted and she's going to basically die. I said, you ain't got to worry about that. She said, you do healing too? I said, of course. I got that. 14 days, you be all right. Say it like a nigga to you. Be all right. She's like, yeah, I feel real confident. <laughs> so, so, copper toxicity. So, when you get the detox, you'll also learn how to see it in the eyes. You see that 12 o'clock right there? When it looks like that, that's on account of copper, the micro antenna. So I, in my book, I show you how to pinpoint the micro antennas by looking into your children's eyes or your man's eyes. So now when they start waking out, just don't, don't hit nobody. Just grab your man or your wife's eyes and say, let me look in there and see what's going on with you. Go into their eyes and see if it's 12, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Find out what is causing the perturbance and then fix it. Because the eyes are the tunnel vision of the soul. That's what the master TJ, she got the mouth of Dr. York taught us. And it's real. The eyes are connected to the brain. Remember when you took tests back in the days and you got the answers wrong? The teacher pulled out the red mark and when you got your test back, you knew it was just nothing but problems because you saw all those red markings. Well, the eyes are connected to the brain. So whenever the brain has unresolved issues for an extended period of time, the brain pulls out the red marker and it starts marking the eyes. 